They say home is where the heart is. And one organization's heart is most at home, building homes for the underprivileged. Meet the man behind the global philanthropic movement called Habitat for Humanity. Kindly tell us about uh, Habitat for Humanity. Well, Habitat for Humanity is an international Christian NGO whose mission is the uh, total elimination of poverty housing. And I have to emphasize that uh, we are a global organization. We are in mm -hmm. around 80 countries. And the reason why we do this, the reason why we try to address the problem of homelessness is we believe that a human being is created in the image and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. So this person has that dig dignity and he deserves a decent place to live. That's right. But we do not discriminate against people, I guess, uh, based on religion, political beliefs. Mm -hmm. uh, we help everybody who are, who are in need. Who are in need. Yes. Uh, I heard that you have uh, this new project called uh, Help Rebuild Philippines. Yes. Uh, when did this start? Okay, this is the background. While we were doing our project in Typhoon Sendong, we were winding up our mm -hmm. project. Then came our problem in Sambuanga, no? when uh, you have the MNLF and Correct. many houses were, were burned. And so the, uh, DSWD, uh, which was our partner in Typhoon Sino, mm -hmm. asked us if we could help in Sambuanga. So we, were, we went to Sambuanga, we looked at it and said, yes, we are willing to help. Mm -hmm. And then while we, are, we were still trying to start our uh, program in Sambuanga, the earthquake in Bohol happened. Wow. And so we went to Bohol. And when we were in Bohol, it, it was so massive, and so we, we said, okay, we are going to help rebuild Sambonga, as well as rebuild One after Bo the other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, October 15th. Correct, correct. And then November 6th mm -hmm. came Yolanda. Came Yolanda. Okay. And so we said, oh, this is no longer rebuilding one city, one province. Yeah. This is rebuilding the Philippines. Rebuilding with, the country. With, yeah, yeah. With, with so many provinces yeah, uh, involved. Right. Our first level of response will be the distribution of what we call SRK, or Shelter Repair Kits. It's not the attempts. Mm -hmm. This is actually a set of materials, like uh, around 10 sheets of uh, GI roofing sheets, mm -hmm. around 8 to 10 uh, plywood, Mm -hmm. good timber, then you have nails plus tools mm -hmm. like hammer, a uh, hand saw. The idea is that Have? if oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, if a family still has some structure in his house left, so he can immediately use these materials in order to have uh, a sleeping place. So we were distributing, I think we are now over 10,000 shelter kits that we have distributed in northern Cebu, in Giwan, in Tacloban. And then within this month, we are about to start the construction of permanent homes. So when we did that, uh, we, we still continue building in uh, Sambuanga. We are, we are still in the early stages. We are doing now our response in Bohol. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, we were already distributing shelter repair kits. During uh, the very early phase of our response there, uh, when we went around, we brought what we have, what we call hammer, uh, it's actually Habitat mm -hmm. Mobile Emergency Response Vehicle. It is a vehicle mm -hmm. with complete uh, set of tools and equipment mm -hmm. for quick construction. For building a house? Yes. May I ask, uh, how many houses are you targeting to build in Tacloban alone? In Tacloban alone, well, there was a request for uh, 4,000 4, houses. houses. Yeah, although our first site, there, yeah, our commitment is 852 mm -hmm. houses. All over, our target is 30,000 houses. Wow. Yeah. That's a so, lot. So, we need all the help to do yeah, that. Yeah, of yeah. course. And then the challenge now is that the houses will be maybe more expensive. We also approach our partner architects. This is uh, Architect Florentino, and we ask them, uh, what can you suggest? Uh, which uh, what the design which is more earthquake resistant and could be uh, you know also resistant to typhoons and he recommended uh, what the, what he calls the high power design or uh, the hyperbolic paraboloid design mm. I had a hard time wow. seeing that <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> and so,
material for uh, the roof, the roofing of, of this house. Ah, okay. In order to uh, resist typhoon, we decided that we will try working on what they call thin shell concrete roof. And how do you do that? Uh, you cover this actually with uh, welded mesh wire, parang chicken wire, mm -hmm. and then you finish it, palitadahan. Mm. Okay. So it's, it, it's a concrete roof that you can bend. Uh, Actually, it, it bends, it bends. Uh, automatically here mm -hmm. because of the connections yeah, uh, in, in the triangle and, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it creates a curve okay. and so uh, water would go this way and then of course you would have this uh, extend yan in mm -hmm. order to protect the protect windows the and win the doors. The doors. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, the design that uh, we will do in uh, Dan Bantayan. Uh, for our viewers, uh, would you like to invite them on how to uh, support and help uh, help out in uh, Habitat for Humanity? Yes, thank you very much, Richard. Uh, you know, rebuilding for Typhoon Yolanda and also for Sambuanga and Bohol takes time. And very often, uh, people forget after a few months on what happened. Mm -hmm. So I would like to request our uh, viewers to continue to assist Habitat for Humanity and all the other agencies are trying to help because we need all the support. It has never happened in the Philippines that we are trying to build half a million new homes for the wow. victims of this disaster. And so without your support, it cannot be done. But I know that the Filipinos have the heart uh, to help each other. And so we are very confident. And so I would like to once again appeal for your help, not only uh, to volunteer, but we also need, of course, the financial donations. And we would be very happy to invite you to our build sites in the future. Thank you very much, uh, CEO and Managing Director of Habitat for Humanity Philippines, Mr. Charlie S. Aiko. Thank you. And for Habitat for Humanity Philippines, we say thumbs up.